the... You totally did not check your teeth. <clears throat> okay. 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 Oh. Welcome back to Spoonsville. Wait, baby. <laughs> Give me a, but yeah, I gotta pause, okay. I, please. You can't just like, brrrr. Okay. Uh, welcome back to Spoonsville. And today we're going to be naming five movies we could not finish. Part ones of this series. Yeah. Yeah. No particular order. Uh, we scrounged them up from various sources, Netflix, Disney Plus, and some such, <laughs> what have you. And uh, so number one, starting off, The Grand Seduction. The here, Grand Seduction. Uh, I believe it's a remake of an earlier, uh, I think it's French Canadian. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think it's French Canadian called Le Grand Seduction or Le, Le, Le Seduction Grand. <laughs> yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, we, we gave it a good. I, I liked a lot of people in it. Had a lot of great Canadian actors. Mark Critch, National Treasure. Gordon Pinsent, you know, National Idol. Um, Brennan Gleeson, I don't think he's Canadian, but he's great. Matt I. Moody, I think. But yeah, it was just, it's one of those, it felt to me like many remakes fall into, where I think the people working on it, they all came together and said, you know, it'd be great, what if we redid that classic? And, but they just couldn't hold on to the spark that made the classic a classic, you know? I didn't see the classic, so I have no reference. I don't know, I really don't have anything that negative to say about the movie <laughs> but it just didn't um i didn't feel like i have to watch the whole movie mm. yeah i was just kind of like okay um yeah. yeah yeah it was not unpleasant but it wasn't pleasant enough to keep going so, yeah it wasn't pleasant <laughs> enough to finish yeah 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 yeah, it was, you know, there's some stuff that was kind of funny. I don't know, why is, why is this even here? It wasn't even that, it wasn't even that bad of a movie. Yeah, we're not saying that it's a horrible movie. No, no. And, and, and this is just us, too. If you were able to, you know, I wish I could finish all movies. Yeah. But, yeah, this one wasn't, it wasn't, it, by no means, it is not comparable in terms of... Uh, I would say the acting was really good already. Mm -hmm. That's why I'm like, I don't know why this movie's well, we here. Couldn't, couldn't finish I'm not saying it. it's, I, I'm it's crappy. Any movies, oh, not, we're not even... That's, it's just movies we could not finish yeah, but for one reason or another. The assumption people are going to have the assumption that these are bad movies. We didn't. We finish might finish them. this one later, but for now it's unfinished. Okay, well, let's we're on to the on. next one. Yeah. This one is in a different category from the Grand Seduction. I actually forgot to put it down here, but it was just popped into my mind. Sixteen Candles. Oh my God! Why yeah. is that movie so popular? Because yeah, oof, it, that was painful. Yeah, it was. I again, it was one of those movies where maybe it just. You know, it's it, it, it rubs against my sensibilities, but everyone just seemed everyone in there was childish and immature and assholey. And, yeah. and 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 like the main character is also not that likable. But you, you know, for me to kind of get into a movie like that, a teen coming of age thing, you kinda you have to root for you know, you have to be able to feel for the main you have to be able to put yourself back. That's the enjoyment of those movies. Remember when you were coming of age and you were struggling with these things that teenagers struggle with. But for her, she was just very stubborn. And okay, I get it. Her family was, it was rude to not remember her birthday. But bring them up. Bring it up. They were busy with other stuff. Remind them. And she would just stubbornly be like, I know, I refuse. And you know, okay, you're just sulking. And then uh, it puts me off caring about your story. And then everyone else was just annoying. The hu it was bad and, and you know it was like it, it was offensive at parts it feels like <laughs> no no teenagers were consulted during that yeah, movie yeah every single person every single teenager in that movie was awful yeah and um no just because being a teenager doesn't mean you're awful yeah. automatically yeah that was, was really irritating yeah it was very just mean and it was very offensive like that the one character from breakfast club is just a creepazoid which i know i think people that still defend this movie admit to some of the cringiness but then and it was just overtly very just bad taste you know this is very so annoying lame. yeah just a, 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 offensive to the senses could not deal yeah could not deal it just didn't not hit, for it us. did not hit the spot not no spots were hit it, yeah no not a it, single it, spot it's... was even closely remotely no. yeah affected it was just yeah yeah no yeah uh where'd you go bernadette this is, uh, i wanted to name? watch that because of is it annette benning 
No. Why do I? No, it's, it's, it's not. It's not a Matt Benning. Oh my god, Kate I love Blanchett. Kate Blanchett. Yeah. How yeah. Can I confuse the two. I love both these ladies. <laughs> yes, I also very much enjoy Kate Blanchett. So yeah, I want. I watched. I wanted to watch it because of Kate Blanchett, and yeah. I was so disappointed. The daughter wants to go. To Alaska. Uh, to Alaska for... Uh, or Antarctica. What no, is Antarctica. It? If, what is it for? For Just to get just some juice she, back in their life. She became a teenager or something yeah. like that? I don't know, but... Not, um, not targeted. Not the right targeting <laughs> here. Yeah, I, well, yes. Definitely not the right target. We yeah. tried. We tried. Because Kate Blanchett. And it was just... We were wait. Well, I was waiting. I think you got tired before I did. Yeah, I'd have, I mean, sometimes you get tired before I do, and I want to. Oh, let's give it another scene. But that's yeah, that that one was tough. I always want to blame it on the pandemic, being like they wanted a gig, but I don't know when this came out. It was probably pre-pandemic, so there's no excuse. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> the next one, don't look up. Don't look up. Which one was that again? <laughs> exactly. Um, as the, the 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 comet end of the world, Leonardo DiCaprio. Oh my God! Why? Yeah, Meryl Leonardo Streep, DiCaprio. Uh, Jennifer Lawrence, Jonah Hill. I like Jonah Hill. I like Jonah Hill too. Yeah. Jonah Hill is great. Yeah, Moneyball. Yeah, the, again. I it think was... there's also yeah, there was also Timothy Chalamet. Right, we didn't get to him. Chamolet? Didn't even get to him yet. Chalamet. Chalamet. We never didn't got. To, yeah, we didn't even get to see him because we just couldn't get through it. No. I'm These are all sure. great actors. It was just like trying to shake people, which yeah, maybe the people working on it are just trying to shake, but it's then it does just come off as 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 uh, yeah, as forceful uh, propaganda. I don't know. I mean, even yeah. if you kind of agree with it, you're like, I still want to watch a movie for the the entertainment, the artistry, the creativity of it, the the immersion of it, and it takes me right out of it when it's just propaganda. Yeah, it's just it's it not, really was yeah. propaganda. Yeah. As much as we agree with a lot of what the movie tries yeah. to do or yeah. I, I, promote. The, yeah, I get the stuff with how everyone is so easily distracted and tension spans are so you know small and yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah, you're like, okay, I get that, but turn it into a way that's actually interesting. You know? Yeah. I don't know. With this, I'm I agree, but it it makes me you know it's one of those where it's like it makes you almost want to. It pushes you away because it's just offensive i found to it's condescending it's very cringy and the, yeah. the humor is is cringy or mean again offensive i don't know just lame. yeah i also really don't like any kind of content that um discredits op opposing views in that way like you're not human if you don't believe abc right I think at the end of the day, yeah, people was, have different views, yeah. different opinion, opinions. And also, you don't know why people yeah. get to a point of believing in certain things. Yeah. Sometimes it could be a lack of education. Sometimes it could be because life was brutal yeah. on you forever. Or sometimes you, you it's for superficial reasons. Mm -hmm. And you you deserve to make your choices based on whatever reasons, right? Huh. But if I'm trying to convince someone of my personal point of view, I'm not going to do it by disrespecting them. No. I don't see why. For me, I felt like it lost a lot of yeah. opportunity to change minds yeah. because it did it in that way. Yeah. The whole movie, I feel like I would just be like, yeah, I get it. I get it. You know? Yeah. Yeah. So. Oof. Awful. Oof. To end it off. So. <laughs> the Guernsey Literary Potato Peel Pie Society. Yeah. Which I like the name. And yeah. generally, I like the premise of it. I think it was just kind of a, I don't know, something with the, the production was a bit, a bit, a bit low. We didn't really get that far in the movie, but I can already, I'm already assuming that she's going to call off her engagement with the guy mm. that she got engaged to when she goes to this town where this society hosts a book club yeah. um, to avoid getting... Uh, imprisoned by the Nazis. Yeah. She then, so she's she goes in there as this writer goes to visit this town because she's interested in it. She wants to write about it, and so she gets there. She stays at a well bed and breakfast. It wasn't Airbnb. There wasn't an Airbnb then, mm -hmm. <laughs> and then she notices that you know what this ring that I have is too blingy for this town. She takes it off. Oh, yeah. That already told me that that guy um, this that she was writing to yeah. um, and that inspired her to go to that town, they're probably going to get together. That's how I feel yeah. the movie ends. I feel like they well, get so, together. Sometimes you just, you, you marry the first guy that asks before he gets shipped off to war. It doesn't mean you're a good fit. 
you know? You kind of see where the movie's going, and you're thinking, I don't need to be there when it ends. Yeah. You know? That's... If I carried on, yeah, would I be dissatisfied? Or, you know, it has, it leaves that bit of possibility. Pro- Even as I speak right now, I'm like, maybe There's I should potential. go back. I There's have potential. tried. I've tried yeah. to do that with movies. It would probably be a, an adequate ending. You'd be, yeah, you'd adequate finish ending. It and you'd be like, okay. I don't time know. To, time to sleep. Um, you know, when you have a meal that just, you're doing all the things, you're putting all the things you normally put in, but it's just not quite shooting up the buds. Yeah. Like, and then the, the movies that really shoot shoot up the buds, light up the buds, those are the ones that maybe sometimes it's even hard to put your finger on, but it wasn't, wasn't there. It felt yeah, like it wasn't this there. One. Yeah. So. But, anyway, that was part one of yeah. movies we could not finish. Yeah. Maybe some will finish, and there are some that... Def- definitely won't finish. Okay, maybe we should just stop. It's fine. Philly- yeah. <laughs> okay, let's just stop. Babe! You totally did not check your teeth. You've had stuff on your teeth the whole time. <laughs> you know? Oh, so annoying. Okay, it is what it is. Let's go. Don't bother me now. Okay, let's say okay. goodbye. Okay. I'm gonna take a nap. Yeah, take a nap. Take a nap. Okay. Gonna, uh, Game. You know, Game. Yeah. Twiddle my fingers. Twiddle my thumbs. Okay. Bye folks. Goodbye. That, that was our that was our that was five we couldn't do. Yeah. Uh, maybe are there some that you couldn't finish? Let us know. Or I would like to know what you think of these movies. Yeah, what do you think of these movies? And if you feel like we have bad taste. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy my taste. I enjoy my does. taste too. But that's okay. Yeah. My taste is my taste. Luckily we have the exact same taste. Yes. So So we both will hit B on the controller at the at yeah. the appropriate time. Yeah. Get back out. Get back out. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, let us know movies you can finish. Let us know if uh, we should finish those movies. Yeah. Just let us know. Especially the potato peel one. I'd like to that know. That one I, I could should. see. I'm on... And Le Grand Seduction. Yeah, the, the Grand Seduction too. Yeah. I feel like I could... Yeah. If we can't decide, we said we'd leave that for, if we can't decide on a movie and we're in a hurry mm-hmm. and we just want to mm-hmm. watch a you movie. You need that sometimes. Well, at least we'll have the grand you, you need that sometimes. We can watch five minutes of it every yeah. day. Yeah, just eat real quick. Okay, boom, you gotta stretch yeah. it out, make it last. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye, folks. Bye. I'm so tired. Oh, no.